I think that Folkestone does have actually a, a really resourceful and amazing space afforded to the town, which is the urban room. It is a space for people to build understanding, hear each other's narratives, but I really uh, feel that as a space to say urban room, is, it's not very clear in terms of what its function is. And I really saw this as, as an opportunity for a starting point. How can we get the, get the town's people to really see the potential that we have in this space and how can we make this come alive? wanted to create opportunities to, again, show these narratives of the people within the town and get that conversation going, get that dialogue going, get people to start to think and look around at their environments and uh, evaluate, okay, what do I want out of this town? What's missing? So as part of the process, um, I began having conversations with different people who work in uh, youth justice, to people who work with uh, disability, disabled communities. I've talked with the fishermen. So from these conversations, gathering all these different narratives, again, started to try to find a way in which, okay, how can I kind of encase this and present it visually within a kind of arcade scenario where I would still, of course, be, be sensitive to the fact that these are real people's lives and really people's plights and uh, situations. All the different games uh, touch on different uh, ways of viewing the town and what's going on in it. Starting off with, for example, retail. We'll be having an air hockey game, which is asking people's points of view about uh, the, the, the high street. So as part of the troller race, we have uh, the Fisher community, I spoke to a young lady from the Nepalese community, the elder community, pride community, and creative folks then community. As players, we engage with this in terms of betting to see who's going to get there first. The narrative of that game is that these different communities are in a, in a, in a process of trying to secure their place and their voice in the future of this town. Also the um, pinball game. With this game, I really see a big part of the change that is happening, at least from the point of view of people that you know, have not been coming to Folkestone only in this more recent wave of people that have, you know, since the HS1 train kind of shortening that distance from London, we do see a lot of influx. Um, I thought it would be quite useful to, yeah, present a kind of a, a mapping or, or some kind of way of talking about these, these, these migrations to the town. Yeah, Folkestone, being a town on the seafront, has experienced, you know, over centuries, different migrations, waves of migrations, people coming and going uh, from the town. So uh, when you drop your ball in, there are going to be two kind of distinct ways that your ball is either going to flow, either you're on the side of the displaced or on the side of the people who are making roots. And at the very end, uh, you'll be able to see what it is that, that you've won within the town of Folkestone. So be that uh, uh, a three-bedroom house, uh, be that the, the, the whole budget for being able to run a triennial. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you drop the ball and that it takes its journey and then you'll find out what you win at the end. And uh, the fourth game we have is the fortune teller game. So I wanted to hear to take the opportunity to, again, re-emphasize, I think, amazing resource that we have in our town, which is the urban room, where we can set our own uh, aspirations for it. We can set its own agenda. It, there's no one right way of doing an urban room, you know. And we also have an exterior space, and this exterior space is uh, housing the crazy golf. Each hole represents a place in Folkestone and it tells a narrative whether, you know, this space is maybe being contested, uh, maybe this space is a really great successful public space or um, specific places or spaces in our landscape that demarcate uh, certain understandings that we have, that, you know, certain social constructs that we've had about, you know, what's east and what's west and what demarcates these, and these are the things that shape our understanding of Folkestone. 
But at the same time, like the people are moving, the people are changing, their aspirations are changing, their needs are changing, people are leaving, people are coming. So how can you kind of bring these, these two together? So I feel that, you know, what I would really hope with, with Fortune here is that, you know, I'm able to maybe, yeah, catalyze perhaps ways of thinking differently about how you might be able to influence your landscape and the environment that you live in. You, you'll arrive and, yeah, you'll be welcomed by being told that you're a winner, you're here, you're part of this narrative, you're part of this movement. And, uh, yeah, this is just the beginning. <laughs>